What's going on YouTube? So in today's video, uh, I wanted to kind of share some insight on what could be a possible Liliol replacer. Um, so for most people that are into perfumery knows the importance of Liliol uh, and what it has done for perfumery, perfumery in the past 10, 15 years. Um, it's a, it's a great Lily of the Valley uh, material. Uh, the only downside is recently it's been really knocked down with IFRA restrictions. And now there's even talks of Lily all being banned completely. So a lot of people are freaking out because they know the importance of this material and what it would do if we were no longer able to use Lily all. Now there's a bunch of materials out there already that do a Lily of the Valley kind of scent. There's probably like, God, like seven, eight, up to 10 different materials from various uh, factories that make a Lily of the Valley scent. But nothing really strikes that kind of essence and that, that just, it's just a wonderful material that Lily all does, uh, which is why everyone's freaking out. So. I was doing some research on the internet trying to figure out some suitable replacement materials and I've bought in a bunch of Lily of the Valley materials hoping to find a replacement and they are all over the place in terms of scent and in terms of you know usage some you have to you know dilute super super heavy some of them you can use more freely but then I, I kind of came across this one Google patent uh, website which lists uh, some people that are actually trying to work on a Liliol replacement that won't be IFRA restricted. And it shares actually a lot of information and you know some of their working you know demo formulas that they're currently working on. And I'll link the description below in the, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll link uh, the, the link itself in the description uh, below. So you guys can go to this website and see for yourself. Uh, I don't, I hope I'm not breaking any rules by, you know, linking to this, but I wouldn't think so because it is, you know, it's, if it's on the Google patent website for public viewing domain that everyone can see, I see no harm in sharing this information. So, but what I also did was I wanted to try and recreate this uh, new formula myself and compare it to Liliol to see how close this actually can be. Now, the formula is very basic. It only consists of like maybe five or six materials total, uh, which I was actually missing some. I know there's uh, some citronelle, uh, citronella was in it. Uh, there's uh, florosa or floral. There's a uh, herniviol neo. There's a uh, lily floor. There's um, some other sort of small like uh, citrus aldehydes. And some of the stuff I was missing but I had some of the main hard hitting ingredients that took up most of the formula. So I wanted to do like a, a cheap dumbed down version of it to see how close this can actually be without it being the full formula itself. I may revisit this formula and try again with all the ingredients that they're listing in this formula. But for now, um, I started with just the main key hitters and I want to see how close it actually is going to get just with this. So, I have my Liliol here. I've got my Liliol replacer in this one and I diluted both down to 20% and I put them on a, uh, some test strips here. So just smelling it from the bottle first. So the real Liliol, it, it's such a great scent. It's, it's, there's just something about it that's so undeniably Lily of the Valley, but it's so calm and tame. And that's why in older perfume formulas, a lot of people use this freely, uh, but not so much now because it's restricted by IFRA, which is why everyone's freaking out. So now smelling this new Lily All replacement formula, which I'll, in the video I'll, on the somewhere on the side, I'll post the actual formula itself. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty darn close. Like, Smelling it from the bottle, I can smell a subtle difference, but it's like 95% close. Now, in terms of scent profile, well, let me just do it off the paper strip. So we've got Liliol here, and then the, the Liliol replacer.
They are so, so darn close. It's pretty scary. It's actually kind of cool because when I smell these two, because they're both diluted to 20%, so they're both equal playing field, I notice right away that in terms of odor strength, they're, they're pretty much the same. So you can use the Liliol replacer the same way you would use normal Liliol. So you wouldn't have to like dilute it further or use more of it. The odor strength is on par with each other. So it's pretty darn good. Um, the one thing that I do notice um, between the two, the difference to me is in the Liliol replacer, I do pick up the hint of that uh, hernivi, I hope I pronounce this correctly, herniviol uh, neo, because that is such a profound kind of, it's a very distinct aroma, and I do pick that up subtly in the replacer formula, in which I don't get that much of it in the real liliol. So comparing these two side by side, I mean, real thoughts here. It's real, real darn close. And the funny thing is, is my formula that I did is the dumbed down version that does not have any of the, you know, the citrus aldehydes or citronellol that it calls for. But in the, the real formula, it's just calling for traces. But I do notice that's the difference between these two is my version is missing that kind of not to say lemony, but it's missing that lemongrass kind of aldehyde citrusy top end that Liliol actually has. But other than that, they're like 95% identical and it's pretty scary that it's, it's really that close. So it's really, it's a great formula to try on your own. So even if it's not a direct identical replacement that will be not IFRA restriction, I think this Liliol replacer formula is just another great material base or tool that you can use for a Lily of the Valley note that's very strikingly similar to Liliol. So, yeah, they're so darn close. It actually makes me happy to know that I can use Liliol currently even though it's restricted with ifra and i can use this material and take it to the max with the R ifra restrictions and then if i wanted to continue further i can use the liliol replacer and start to use more of this and not be worried about ifra restrictions and it still gives that liliol scented tone um it's i'm i'm actually going to try a few you know trial blends today and you know, do it with and without and see if I can notice any differences. But just testing the two side by side on paper strips, it smells very, very promising. And so yeah, the, the formula that I have or that I'm using will be in the video somewhere in this area. And then in the description below will be the link to the Google patent site where the actual people that came up with this formula uh, you'll be able to see it more in detail there and it's just a huge long detailed, you know, chemistry blurb and then somewhere down down below you'll see the different trials that they're doing and what some of the different formulas and the, the preferred formulas that they're going with or still trying out anyways. But yeah, so basically this video was like, hey, I stumbled across something that could be a great tool for perfumers as a Liliol replacement. I think it smells great. Um, hopefully you guys can try it at home and, and, you know, tell us all what you think, you know, leave a comment down below and see if these, uh, smell pretty good to you or if it's a, a identical knockoff to Liliol or not. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start blending with it today and see what I can, uh, you know, come up with some further findings. So with that being said, until next time.